What's up guys, it's a beautiful fall day today. Got out here nice and early. I'm gonna try and get some fishing in before class today. Doesn't give me much time, but I'm hoping I'll find a couple fish. I'm gonna be fishing this um this spun marabou streamer. I showed it in the intro, I think. Just gonna throw this streamer at some structure or any kind of holes or deeper areas. Hopefully find something aggressive that'll chase it. This time of year, it could be salmon, steelhead, or trout, so I'll take whatever I can get. I'm gonna get down to the river. Oh, chaser, follower. Look at this thing, wow. Oh my, oh my God, that was crazy, guys. This is a coho, I think. Wow, I hope you could see that eat. That was incredible. That was an incredible eat. Wow. This one doesn't look in terrible shape either. Cohos are mostly pretty beat up right now. Look at this little fish. Little guy, but dang, did he eat that streamer like a champ. My goodness, think of the hen actually. Oh, got her. Oh, not in bad shape at all. Wow, she's loaded. I'm gonna get her back. She is loaded with spawn. Something about that black marabou streamer, just the way it swims in the water, it gets these fish so fired up. Hope you guys can see. I think she tried to eat it probably four or five times before she got it. I expected most of the cohos to be complete zombies, but this fish is actually in really good shape, so I'm super happy with that as a start. Just gonna hold her up real quick so you can see how big she is. Not a giant, but a perfect fish. So happy with it. Guys, as you can see, we got a couple coho here in this little creek, and I just wanna say that's not a spawning red. They're just hanging out, it's a hole. Spawning reds are up here. These guys are just hanging out. They're either pre or post spawn. So yeah, let's see if any of them chase. Apparently those ones aren't hungry. heck is this? Is this a coho? Little guy. Smacked it though. This is a little jack, I think. Oh, he's in rough shape. Oh God. It's kind of a sickly looking coho. He smacked it though. Don't you dare break me off. Check out this gnarly dude. That's probably a snag mark there. Poor guy. Yep, that's more of what you expect this time of year. Beat up tail, that's really gross actually. Kind of off color. He'll be fine. That's not what we're looking for. Guys, I think I'm looking at a steelhead right now. Not completely sure. Looks really different to me. Oh my God, I got it. I think it's a steelhead. It's gotta be a steelhead. Gotta be a steelhead. Is it? I can't tell. What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. This might be something really rare, guys. 
I think it is. This is not a coho. Oh my God, it is. I gotta land it. I gotta land it. What the heck? God, it's coming right at me. What is this? Guys, I'm sorry, I'm speechless right now because what I think this fish is doesn't make any sense. Oh my God, that is not a coho or a steelhead. Oh, guys, what all oh, came out? Oh my God. Do you guys know what this is? Because because I think I do. And I'm like speechless right now. That's not a coho or a steelhead. That's an Atlantic. Oh, I'm like speech. This is like a fish I've always dreamed of catching on the fly. I, I'm literally speechless right now, guys. What the heck? Guys, I'm so excited right now. I'm literally almost shaking. That's an Atlantic salmon. That is so rare. Guys, I am so excited about this fish. I want to get it back because I want her to spawn. I hope she finds a mate in here. But these are the coolest fish ever. I've always dreamed of catching one of these. Literally cannot explain how excited I am right now. This is so cool. I never would have dreamed I would run into one of these. And especially to get it on a streamer fly. That is so awesome. Chromed out, beautiful fish. Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> this is amazingly lucky, guys. I'm so thankful right now. I don't know what I could have done different. Honestly, like she's fine, look. She swims and everything, she's totally fine. But I never even took her out of the water, really. I didn't play her that hard. I don't know what's going on, really. I, so I'm gonna put her over in this slack water. I think she'll be better off. She can hide behind the tree. Hopefully recover. There she goes, guys. Look at that blue back. That is completely bizarre. Bye. Well, guys, I've just been sitting here on this log just completely taking in what just happened right there. For those of you guys who don't realize why I'm so excited about that little fish, as somebody who has a lot of interest in not just catching fish, but the biology of it and the fisheries management of the state, that fish to me is just such a fascinating species. It's a fish that I've never even seen before in the wild, and I never would have dreamed it would hit my streamer like that. And Atlantic salmon on the fly rod traditionally is kind of seen as one of those pinnacle catches, one of those things that you've got to do once in your lifetime. And I know it's different in Michigan because these are lake run fish, not from the sea, but to me that fish just meant the world, honestly. And I'm just out here fishing before class, you know, and I caught it on one of my favorite rivers that I've been fishing since I was a young kid. So it just means a lot. It's just amazing to me. And it's really, really rare. And I just feel really lucky. It's been a really lucky day, to be honest. I don't know how I'm gonna top this. And it's actually ironic because the Atlantic salmon is such an elusive species, but I was actually gonna meet up with somebody and fish for them next weekend at a place where they're a little more common. It's just completely ironic that I just caught one here in the river that I've been fishing for many years and never ever seen one. So. I'm sorry for rambling guys, but as you can see, I'm completely stoked. I just wanted to let you guys know why I'm so happy about it. One thing I want to add is the fact that that fish didn't really swim off right. I'm not completely sure what happened there because I literally kept it in the water the whole time. I took really good care of it, obviously, because just the idea that those fish could spawn in here is pretty awesome. But obviously it swam off. I'm sure it'll recover, but I think the fish is going to be just fine and I'm stoked. Look at this guy, look at these guys. Look at this. No? Okay. Didn't want you anyway, is your boot nasty? Sorry guys, I feel like I'm talking a lot in this video and I didn't even fish that much, but I've got a couple more things I wanna add. First of all, whenever I do a sight fishing video, I like to plug these right here, these sunglasses that I use. They're called Shady Rays. It's a really awesome brand of sunglasses for outdoorsmen like us. First of all, they're really inexpensive polarized sunglasses and they look sweet. Like you can get ones that look like this or you can get the normal styles of polarized. I've been using Shady Rays sunglasses for almost a year now and I wanna help you guys save money too. So if you use my code at checkout, just Frey, F-R-A-Y, when you check out, you get 25% off. That basically makes these a $30 pair of sunglasses. I don't think you can find a better deal online for sunglasses than that, for quality polarized sunglasses. I mean, these are way better than that $30 Bass Pro pair that you're gonna go out and buy. So if you can't afford Costas like me, 
Shady Rays is definitely the way to go. I love them. I'll throw a link in somewhere, a link in the description. Just use that code and it'll save you 25%. So there's that. But anyways, I know I talked a lot. I probably talked too fast. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to get all that out of the way. And I've got lots more exciting fishing coming for you. I definitely did not expect to catch an Atlantic salmon today, but like I said, hopefully coming up soon, maybe some more and some bigger ones, not to mention steelhead and all that. So I'm really appreciating all the support right now and not to mention the drone. I just remembered that the GoFundMe, thank you guys so much, everyone who donated to the GoFundMe. I've got a new drone now, I'm back in the air. So it's just unbelievable. I'm loving the support so much. It's really motivating me and I can't wait to show you guys what's coming up next. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.